pool is a huge part of our lives. Everybody in our family plays. Our pool table takes up the biggest room in the house and we have a storage unit that's full of furniture that we don't use because we don't have room for it. We get together every week to shoot pool. So my dad shot pool his whole life. Our dad shot pool. All three of our kids got into it. Now they're grandson. I would play 100, 200, 300 racks of nine ball every day. Junior, I would just put him in the high chair and he would be one hand with the Cheerios and the other hand with the sippy cup and he'd watch me play pool all day. That was his form of watching the baby while I was at work. Yeah. <laughs> this pool table here is the original and very old yes, Keith Jr. pool table. And this kid started making shots and pocketing balls like you would not believe. The game's about physics and geometry, basically. You either see the shot or you don't. You need to be able to see the angles on the table. You need to be able to tell how hard to hit it and how fast the ball's gonna move after you hit it. And for such a young little boy, he can do it. I put this video up on YouTube and it was picked up by a local news station. It went up, the news station came out the next day and filmed. Pool is much more of a daddy key thing. What's the matter? Your pants coming down? Yeah. Here, I'll help you. Just slow down a little bit, okay? And one, two, three. What didn't you do? Didn't do one, two, three. One, two, three, and you have to hit it that hard to get to the pocket, right? I try to get him focused, slow down, concentrate. Me and Keith, since he's been two years old, we've been playing pool together. And my job is to keep him going, keep it fun, keep it interesting. I keep soothing. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. I like that. I saw that Keith Jr. had this talent and I saw that there was money to be made here. And college these days is really, really, really expensive. And I want Keith to go to college and I believe he should. It's really important to me to utilize the talent that he's been given and do something positive with it. Helping a cue company sell cues or a piece of chalk, that can put him through college. Almost. You're getting there, easy. I wanna go play. He's five, so sometimes he gets frustrated. Take a break, take a break. Whether Keith wants to play pool for the rest of his life or not, we will support him in anything he wants to do. Okay. If you can see this ball, doesn't really go in there very easily, and he jumps it um, from about five foot away. It's definitely one of the hardest shots in the world. There's a professional pool player named Mike Massey who used to use a cowboy boot with a big opening, um, and it was a huge deal that he made that. And we have our five-year-old making a ball in a shoe that is like six times smaller. Cut. Cut. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna wait until he's eight or nine, until I allow him to compete. He needs time to enjoy the game, and then he can decide whether if he wants to really be competitive or not. You're almost there. Get it. Oh! There's no question Keith was born to play pool. Get it. <laughs> A little bit of work on the table could change his entire life.